surrender. Pray with me. Come Holy Spirit, enlighten and bless everything that I think, say and do to be able to live according to the teachings of God the Father and God the Son. Come Holy Spirit, come through the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your beloved wife. Each new day brings me a list of tasks to do. The tasks that I like to do are very easy. I do them first and I do not think twice about it. The tasks that are less attractive I put aside for later. I always forget to surrender to God my tasks, especially those that I do not have as much desire to do. What does it mean to surrender? Among many definitions, these are the ones that lead me to think of God. Putting someone or something in the hands or power of another. Putting yourself in someone's hands submitting to their direction or authority. Excellent definitions. What if I repeat them in another way? Putting God's hands in His power, everything in my life, what I like and what I do not like so much. Place myself in God's hands, submitting to His direction and authority. It is always mentioned the surrendering and love of God, who unconditionally became a man and gave his life to save us. With his dedication, he teaches me to detach myself from the material things, from the world of needs, and to surrender myself to the world of his joy. Today, I want to remember the silence and the dedication of Joseph. Yes, Joseph, the carpenter, husband of Mary and father of Jesus on earth. Joseph, who surrendered his life to take care of Mary and Jesus. Joseph, who with his silence teaches me to listen carefully to God's message to act without fear, and to give myself to service God without condition. God is Father. God is good. Good is everything He does. Thank you, Father, for everything. Mother, in you and in Jesus, I believe and trust. Amen. Amen.